Ever been pestered by a fly on a hot summer's day? Imagine you're a bald man trying to relax after work, and this pesky fly won't leave you alone. It's buzzing around, darting here and there, its high-pitched hum a constant annoyance. Every so often it lands on your shiny dome, its tiny feet pricking your skin, stinging just enough to make you wince. You swat at it, a quick frustrated smack, but your palm hits only air, maybe your own head, but never the fly. Again and again you lash out, your irritation mounting with each failed attempt. The fly, tiny as it is, keeps outsmarting you, its buzz growing louder in your ears, its stings sharper on your skin. And then, as the man raises his hand for another swat, he pauses, a realization dawning on him. What's the point in fighting a battle you can't win, especially when the adversary is as insignificant as a fly? Our bald man, weary from work and the heat of the day, came to this realization. The fly, persistent and pesky, continued its dance around his bald pate, stinging him again and again. But the man, he decided to ignore it. Why, you ask? Well, he understood something crucial, that by reacting he was only harming himself, not the fly. His efforts to swat it away only resulted in self-inflicted pain. The fly remained unscathed, its buzzing unabated. So he chose stillness, he chose patience. He chose to let the fly be, focusing on his peace rather than the irritation. And so the man sits, the fly buzzing, yet he remains unperturbed. A lesson learned. The wisdom in knowing when to react and when to let things be is a powerful tool in navigating life's many irritations. Sometimes the most annoying nuisances in life are as insignificant as this fly. We all have those pesky flies in our lives, don't we? They buzz around, constantly poking and prodding, just trying to get a rise out of us. They could be anything from petty gossip, nagging doubts, or small inconveniences that threaten to ruin our day. But just like the bald man, we often give these nuisances more power than they deserve. We swat at them, only to hit ourselves in the process. We let their insignificant stings distract us, consume us, and ultimately harm us more than they ever could. So what's the lesson here? It's simple really, we need to learn to choose our battles wisely. Not every fly deserves our attention. Not every annoyance requires a reaction. Remember, you'll only injure yourself if you take notice of despicable enemies. So choose your battles wisely and don't let the flies of life steal your peace.